hello friends welcome back to the channel today we are going to learn about laravel queues let's say your web application that have a registration form and when the user register it sends out a welcome email to new user as your user's base grows this could potentially become a time consuming task that slow down the performance of your application this is where laravel queue comes in it allows you to differ tasks like sending email image processing and more to be executed in the background improve the overall performance and user experience of your application in my previous video i have already created a mail that uh, when the user registered it will automatically send him a welcome mail so i am going to use that mail in this video if you haven't watched that video please go and watch it first then this video so first thing that i will do is to come to my env file and inside my env file line number 21 queue connection i will change this to database now after that i will in my terminal i will type php artisan queue table to generate the migration now if i come to my database migrations and the last as you guys can see it created a new file with the name of create jobs table now uh, i have to run the migration for that i will in the terminal i will type php artisan migrate so our migration is done now what i want to do is to send this uh, email that we created in my previous video using the jobs because when the user registered it will take um, some time until the email is sent so i don't want to make the user wait until this email is sent for that in my terminal i will type php artisan make colon job and give it a name for example welcome email job and hit enter so our job is created now if i go to app uh, inside the app there is a folder with the name of jobs inside this a new file is created with the name of welcome email job so in this file inside the handle method i will copy this uh, email from the registered function to here now let's say uh, bring these two classes for that let me copy one was welcome mail and another one is email sorry mail okay so we also need two parameters email and name for that i will in the construct i will type email dollar sign name now i will create two variables in the top to private variables private dollar sign the first one is email and the second one is name now let's assign them in, in here so dollar sign this email is equal to dollar sign email and another one is dollar sign so this name is equal to name so now let's use them here in the state of data i will type this and this also in here now let's call this uh, class inside our register in the state of the email so inside register uh, re create method i will comment this out i will call welcome make email job colon colon dispatch and one more thing my id automatically uh, import the class if your id does not import so uh, add this line in the top of your class now let's back to our create method so we have to send also our two parameters one was which is an email and another one was name so this one is ready now if a user register it will not send the email to him it will in the database if we come inside the jobs table it will create a new job so let's see if, uh, with an example so uh, if i register here stack tips and 
and here the, the, give him the password click the register so as you guys can see the registration is successful now if I check my email inbox refresh so there is no e email because it's added inside the database as you guys can see it created a new record to run this uh, to send this email or run this uh, job we are in the terminal we have to type php artisan q colon work now hit enter now it's running done now if i come to my email as you guys can see the email has arrived so this is the way that we create a job now let's go back to vs code in vs code i have already created this method which gets all the students and send them an email and i also add that email to the job that email also have an attachment with excel file so let's go to this route and send email to all the students so it's done that uh, jobs are added in inside the queue let's go to jobs table as you guys can see there are 30 jobs waiting now if i run my base uh, in the base code terminal php artisan queue work and also disable my internet hit enter now it's running but as you guys can see all of them are failed now in my database i have another table with the name of failed jobs if i open this as you guys uh, in the jobs all of them are gone but added inside failed job so now if i want to retry let's see how i can retry and send them again so back to the vs code stop this one and let me turn on my internet connection and type in here php artisan q retry all now hit enter all so as you guys can see now if i go back to the jobs table and refresh all of them are added back to my jobs table now if i run in here php artisan q work enter now it's running done so this is the way that we create queues and jobs in laravel hope you like the video and if you like it please press the subscribe button and if you have any questions please write it down in the comments